Well, hello everyone, George Rambler Man here. Hope everybody's doing well on this uh, rainy Sunday morning. Not gonna be doing any riding this morning as these uh, storms pass through. We've had some pretty severe storms the uh, <laughs> last few days come through the southeast. A lot of tornadoes around Alabama. My thoughts are out to all the folks uh, who may be impacted by that. We didn't get any tornadoes uh, right here where I live, but uh, we've had lots of rain. Hopefully today it clears up later and I can get out and ride, but um, this past week I had a couple of good days during the week and got a lot of good riding in. I'm getting uh, closer to get this, getting the break-in miles on the bike completed and get this thing in for its thousand mile initial service. Uh, and then I'll be off and running. <laughs> I love it so far. Uh, it's been a, you know, it's just been a great bike. One of the things I did mention in my last video was that I had uh, ordered a uh, Mustang seat with a backrest for it. Uh, not because I don't like the stock seat. I'll give you a little close up of the stock seat. Uh, the stock seat on the Heritage is very good. I think it's much better than the <laughs> old Heritages and it's, uh, it's soft and it's comfortable. And, um, you know, for a couple of hours, uh, I have no, no problems with this. I was out last week and was out on a bike about three, three and a half hours and it was starting to get a little uncomfortable <laughs> towards the end. And uh, again, it's a good seat, uh, but I, for, for whatever reason, I kind of slide around on a little bit. I don't really like that. It doesn't quite have the lumbar support uh, that the Mustang seat had on my boulevard. And that was the best upgrade I did to my boulevards, putting that Mustang seat on there. So I decided to go ahead and spend the money and, and get it uh, for this bike. Uh, I went ahead and, and opted for the extra optional uh, rider backrest to go with it. I've never had a seat with a backrest. I don't know how I'm gonna like it, but uh, we shall see. But anyway, the, the seats have come in. As you can see here, I got two boxes from Mustang. Top smaller box is the passenger pillion and the bottom box is the rider seat with the, um, with the backrest. So I'm gonna uh, put those on and uh, see what it looks like and see what it feels like. I'm, I'm predicting I'm gonna love it if it's the same as my Suzuki Boulevard uh, and give me that additional uh, lumbar support and the backrest to give me a little additional comfort uh, my back surgery was very successful and it's, <laughs> my back feels great, uh, but I think the backrest might be just uh, a little upgrade that I will like. So let's get this seat on here and, and see what it looks like and uh, take it out for a ride. Okay, I've got the uh, stock seat off. As you can see, it comes off uh, very easily. You just uh, take the bolt out of the uh, rear fender there, take the passenger seat off. You got a couple of bolts right there you take off and just slide the, uh, slide the rider seat right off. Uh, one thing I wanna show you is this is the adjustment for the uh, rear shock. And it, uh, you just use the little wrench that they give you as part of the tool set they give you when you buy the motorcycle. And you can adjust that to whatever setting that you want depending on what you're riding with, how much weight you have. Uh, looking at the uh, owner's manual, I've got mine set on 1.5. It's not the easiest uh, thing to do. I mean, you have to take the seat off to get to it. Some of the new soft tail models, the, I know the Sport Glide, this is on the outside, it's just a knob turn, and I wish they would incorporate that on the, on the Heritage, but uh, you know, pretty much this setting is good for me, just riding solo with not too much uh, luggage. The suspension is very good, I'm not complaining about it at all. I'll probably leave it on this setting unless I really load the, uh, load the bike up. Okay, I've got the uh, seat unboxed, and this is what uh, comes with it. I've got the um, passenger backrest, the rider seat, and the uh, uh, passenger seat. And be careful when you're ordering this uh, particular combo. If you get the backrest, you have to get the passenger seat that's uh, recessed in the back. In other words, kind of slope back in order to uh, accommodate the rider's backrest. But as you can see, this is a very high quality uh, a piece of equipment. It, it's, it's expensive, but uh, it's well worth it. It looks like leather. It's really, I think, a marine grade vinyl, but it's very, very soft. You can see it's got that really good lumbar support there. Really nice um, stitching throughout and a uh, nice uh, Mustang logo there. Comes with instructions. Who needs instructions? Uh, well, I'll probably read them anyway. Does come with some uh, new bolts to bolt the uh, rider seat on, so I'll probably use those. But it's really simple. You just slip this front in uh, under the bracket on the bike, uh, set it into place, and you know, you know the whole installation is probably 10 minutes. So let's get it on the bike and see what it looks like. Okay, I've got the uh, rider seat on with the new 
uh, bolts supplied by Mustang. And uh, one of the really good things about, <laughs> about these new bolts is that they actually have a little hex uh, nut on there that you can get a that you can get a wrench on. And uh, you just need a little 5 8 inch uh, wrench and you get it right on there and you can tighten these down. So that, uh, that's better. The stock ones are just a round finger tight thing uh, like you see here. And uh, they're good, but uh, you know, I like having a little hex nut on there you can get a wrench on. So the passenger seat is, or the rider seat rather, is on there securely. You can see this little Velcro that pops up and that's where the uh, rider um, uh, backrest uh, gets installed. So we put that back on, slip the, uh, slip the passenger seat on, put on the backrest and see what this thing looks like. Okay, here's the uh, seat all mounted with the bolted down. The passenger seat is on and bolted down. Passenger seat uses the same screw here at the back that the uh, stock one's just a flathead screw and it bolts down fits very well uh, really happy with it just give you a quick look at it you see it doesn't quite have these uh, studs that are on the bags these are like alligator <laughs> skin studs or whatever you call them doesn't have that on the seat but you got to be looking kind of close to even notice that this isn't a, a stock seat but uh, let me put the backrest on, show you how that works, and, uh, and then we'll be done. Okay, I've got the uh, uh, backrest installed. It just installs in that slot. You remove the, peel back the Velcro strip and uh, press it right down in, and it uh, fits great. It's got a good bit of adjustment on it, uh, as you can see here. The, uh, it, can, it can move you know, like this, and there's a little thumb screw right here. I don't know if you can see it, but right here that you can adjust to see how far back uh, the, the backrest goes or set, set it, you know, kind of however you want it. So it's got some adjustability to it. Again, I've never uh, had a backrest. We'll see how I like it, but um, hey, it looks good so far. And you can see why you have to get that recessed uh, passenger seat to allow room for the backrest. If you get the standard uh, passenger seat for the Mustang seat without the backrest, it's going to come too far forward and it won't allow the, any space for the, uh, for the backrest. So that's it. Happy with it so far. I've sat in it. It's, <laughs> you've got that you know, deep seating position and lumbar support that I really like. And uh, I think I'm going to be very happy with it. I'll put the stock seat and bolts up in the garage and uh, keep those. But for right now, the Mustang seat is on. $800, a lot of money, but I think it's really going to uh, improve the comfort of the ride. Okay, let's get this thing out on the road and see what it feels like. Well, fast forward 24 hours. The rain never did let up yesterday, really, until after it got dark and it really cooled off. And I didn't get a chance to get out and test the uh, new Mustang seat until uh, today. Today is Monday. It's uh, Almost 8 o'clock and the sun's going down. I apologize if the light's a little bit low here. Hopefully the GoPro can handle that. But I've been on the seat now with the backrest for about 30 minutes and my 30 minute review uh, is positive. Uh, it's, it's very comfortable. I didn't know how I would uh, like a backrest, but after being on it for 30 minutes, I, I really like it. I think I probably still have some little adjustments to do to get it to just at the right angle and the right height, but that'll come with uh, come with some experience. And of course, the real you know the real uh, test of this uh, seat is going to be three or four hours uh, straight in the saddle. I don't know about four hours straight, but uh, you know two two to three hours will will give it the uh, real road test to see how comfortable it is, but. You know, Mustang seats are just very, they're quality built, uh, the seat's firm. I don't think it's quite conforming to my backside as well as my old one did, but you know, I had my old one, <laughs> I had it on my bike for, I don't know, six or seven years. And this one might take, a, you know, just a little bit of a break in. But it, you know, it doesn't appear to be pushing me forward. I don't be, I don't seem to be pushed back. I'm not higher, I'm not lower. The seating position seems to be the same. Uh, as the stock seat 
and the, and the good thing about it is I don't seem to be sliding around on it at all which is really what was bothering me before on, on the stock seat and, and again the you know the stock seat on these new heritages are, are pretty good they're so much better than they used to be like I said before you know I just got this Mustang seat because I was really spoiled in my boulevard that's what I had for all those years I was just so comfortable I mean I could just ride all day and it wouldn't you know I wouldn't have any um, uncomfort at all or as far as my backside getting sore or numb or anything else it was just very comfortable so that's what I was looking for on this one you know I can't emphasize too much the how important the seat is on a motorcycle a few years ago I rented the Indian Springfield up in New England and rode it around and loved the motorcycle for the most part wonderful wonderful bike but that stock seat was terrible I mean it was uh, I couldn't go more than an hour without having to get out and, and take a break and I could have you know if I decided to get the Springfield or if you've got the Springfield and you don't like the seat there's plenty of aftermarket options out there I'm sure that you can change it out and that's one good thing about you know touring bikes and and cruisers like this there are plenty of seat options uh, out there to, to swap out if you don't like the stock seat So my short review is thumbs up. I like it. Uh, you know the seat feels good. Uh, I like the backrest. It's going to take a little getting used to, and I'm going to make some adjustments to it. But I think the the comfort on a long ride is just going to be exceptional. Eight hundred dollars, a lot of money, but uh, well worth it in my opinion, and very easy to put on. And I give it uh, I give it an A plus so far. I'll review it again if, after I put some substantial miles on it. And before I sign off here, I want to give a quick uh, shout out to my motor vlogging friend and buddy Dave Netherton, who goes by the YouTube uh, name of Smyrna Cowboy. Dave is from Smyrna, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville, and. I understand he was in an accident at his uh, workplace last week. There was an explosion. Uh, I think he broke his leg. He had some surgery. They put his leg back together. He's going to have some more surgery for some burns. And I don't know any of the details of the accident. I don't know where Dave worked. I don't know what kind of job he has. But obviously it was in some sort of manufacturing or industrial situation. And there was an explosion and he was, he was hurt. And uh, Dave... My heart goes out to you. I'm praying for your recovery. I know you're looking to retire soon. And, uh, you know, the timing on this uh, really stinks. But I uh, just want to let you know that uh, myself and the whole motor vlogging community that know you uh, wish you the best and a, a speedy recovery. And my prayers are, are with you, Dave, uh, and get well soon. So I navigate this traffic circle, headed back home. This is George Ramble Man. Everybody have a great week.